Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna, welcome if you're new here. So for today's video, I have a little bit of something different in mind. Um, there's quite a lot of things I wanted to get done today. So I already like cleaned my little apartment and got that all set up. So the main thing I really wanted to get done today was reorganize my bookshelf. So I have this bookshelf right here and then some books back here on my TV stand. And that is like all the book storage I have. So my husband and I live in California. We have a one bedroom, one bath apartment in San Diego. Probably within the next couple months, I'll be getting a bookshelf just to kind of re uh, lay out our space in here. So to give you guys a little bit of an update, um, this month, so the month of April for me has been really, really tough. I don't know why, but I've just been in such a freaking reading slump this month. I pick up books and I don't really feel very called to read them. I just I'm not interested so I put them down and I've been doing that a lot this month. So far I have been able to finish two books this month which is really good still but for where I've been reading at lately where I average about 10 books a month um, it's not great. I, I don't really know what it is. I feel like it might be a case of like analysis paralysis where there's like so many good books to read that I I might be overwhelming myself getting myself a little overstimulated and then burning myself out um, that could definitely be it I tend to do that so unfortunately I haven't gotten through a lot of books this month but that's okay though I've definitely been giving myself a lot of time to just relax and not worry about it not stress about it and just listen to what I'm feeling called to do at the time However, considering it is now almost halfway through the month of April, I felt like it was a good opportunity to maybe do a little bit of a reset and go over all my bookshelves, clean them out. I think just laying hands on the books that I have and kind of touching them, looking at them again, I feel like it might like spark some part of me that's been feeling a little bit um, slumpy. It might give me some like motivation, you know, some encouragement. So I especially love organizing my books especially when I get new books. I do also have a little bit of a book haul to show you guys, so that was also another reason why I wanted to film this video. I have these books sitting here on my desk and I wanna show them to you guys so I can get them put away and not have a giant pile of books here anymore. Okay, so I think what I'll do is I'll show you guys all the books I got in this recent little book haul and then I'll show you guys all the books that I have on my shelves and we'll take them down and we'll put all the books back together with the new ones and hopefully everything fits. If not, then we'll just have to make do and see what we come up with. Um, so in case I haven't mentioned it before, I do get a lot of my book recommendations from TikTok. There are two pages that I specifically love to get my recommendations from and one of them is from Smitty um, and then the other one is from Kristen and Maddie and I'll just show their information on the screen in case you guys want to go check out their pages but um i really really resonate with their reading styles and pretty much anything they recommend i'm like yep okay sounds good added to my tbr add to cart let's go um so a lot of these you'll probably see from their pages and then i also just picked up a couple other books outside of that Okay, so starting with Fantasy First, um, I did pick up a little novella, and that is The Emperor's Soul by Brandon Sanderson. So this is a pretty short book. It's pretty small. Um, I believe this is the second book after Elantris, I believe. Um, I don't have Elantris. I'm not sure if I'm going to read it or not. I believe this isn't exactly the sequel to Elantris. I think you can just read this as a standalone, which is why I picked it up because I heard as a standalone it's actually really, really good. So I was just curious to pick it up. All right, and then the next book I grabbed was Warbreaker. This is also by Brandon Sanderson. So I saw a couple of people recommend to read Warbreaker after you read the initial Mistborn trilogy. Um, this is a standalone book and I've just heard really, really great things about this. So I wanted to pick this one up too. So the next books I picked up are actually in a series. So I did grab the Devabad trilogy. So we have The City of Brass, The Kingdom of Copper, and The Empire of Gold. And these are written by Essay Shekavorty. Um, here, I'll show you guys the covers. So these are also the UK covers. So we have the City of Brass and then the Kingdom of Copper and the Empire of Gold. All right, next we have Silver Under Nightfall and this is by Rin Chipeko. 
Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. Then we have Blood Over Bright Haven, and this is by Emma Wong. This is the same author who wrote The Sword of Kaigon. Then I also grabbed the last four books in the Throne of Glass series. So we have Queen of Shadows, Empire of Storms, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash. So I did already read this series. I really loved it. And now I officially have the whole series. So I'm excited for that. And then we have a little bit of sci-fi. So I grabbed These Burning Stars by Bethany Jacobs. And then I grabbed Dune and Dune Messiah by Frank Herbert. Then I also grabbed Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. I Who Have Never Known Men, and this is by Jacqueline Hartman. The Ocean at the End of the Lane by Neil Gaiman. Under the Magnolias by T.I. Lowe. And then finally, The Women by Kristen Hanna. I'm so excited to read this one. All right, you guys, so those are all the new books that I picked up. I'm gonna move these over to the island and then I'll show you guys the books that I have currently up on my shelves. And then we'll take those down and then we will reorganize. So this is the setup that I have right now. So just to give you guys like an idea of what the setup is, this is an Ikea uh, Calyx unit. And um, on the bottom, we just use it for storage. And then the top is where I put my books. So this unit is honestly kind of used as like a room divider between our living room and kitchen because our place is just small and we only have one bedroom. And then on the side of my desk right here, we have a like, this is what a lot of people use for like a TBR cart. I honestly just use it to store like desk stuff, tools, filming stuff, anything like that. But because I have so many books, I might need to actually make this like a legit TBR cart for the extra book storage. So um, we'll see how far we get. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out of the way. So starting then in this back shelf, this is kind of like my romanticy shelf. So we have the first four books in the Throne of Glass series over here. And then we have A Court of Wings and Ruin and A Court of Silver Flames and then A Court of Frost and Starlight. My first two books in the Akatar series are actually being lent out right now. Um, so I don't have them. And then I have my two copies of Crescent City, House of Earth and Blood, and then House of Sky and Breath right here. And then over here, we have some other romanticy books. So we have Belladonna, Powerless, and A Touch of Darkness. And then moving on to this shelf, um, honestly, there's not a lot of organization to this shelf. It's kind of chaotic. This is like a little bit of dark romance with regular romance with I don't even know what. So yeah, we just kind of have some like random romance books in here. We have some dark romance books and then some lit fic and historical fiction books in here as well. All right, so then this shelf is more of my contemporary romance shelf. So I have my Magnolia Park series right here. These are the UK covers. So I'm really glad I got to get these ones. Um, and then we have some Emily Henry and Allie Hazelwood books and then just another romance book over here. And then I have my UK version of Happy Place and then I just have a couple other romance books that I want. And then, and then I have my little B right here. That was the first like crochet project I did. All right, and then on this shelf we have another jelly cat. I'll just move him out of the way. Um, so we have a little bit of some classics here and we also have some lit fic and then one random copy of The Red Queen which is a kind of like a fantasy romance series. All right so let's go to the other side. Okay so starting on the back of this side this is where I put all of my hardcover books or most of my hardcover books. So we have a lot of fantasy in this section. So we have um, some V.E. Schwab and then we have the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy by Stephanie Garber um, and then I have my two copies of the Divine Rivals and uh, Ruthless Vows down here as well. Okay and then this is more of my like adult fantasy section. So we have the Brandon Sanderson Mistborn saga. So we have the first trilogy, which I believe is here. And then we have the second phase. And then we have um, Name of the Wind, some Stephen King, Robin Hobb, and M.L. Wong. And then I also have my three Dragon Seal editions from uh, Brandon Sanderson's Secret Projects that he's been working on. So I'm really excited to have these editions. Um, and then just again, some more adult fantasy, a little bit of YA fantasy thrown in here as well. And then yeah, my YA and adult sections kind of blend right here. So this is a little bit of fantasy and sci-fi mixed together. 
So then moving over to my TV stand, we do have some of my like fantasy series over here. So we have the Harry Potter series on this top shelf of the Cruel Prince trilogy and some of Cassandra Clare's works within the um, Shadowhunters universe. And then on the bottom here, we have a little bit more of some historical fiction, nonfiction and literary fiction books or in like dark academia and things like that. Okay, so I am going to start taking all these books off the shelves and I will come back when we are ready. on here uh, I'm not really sure what the count is so now I'm gonna reorganize them by genre and then hopefully that'll make it a little bit easier when I am gonna start putting them back okay so I think I have my books organized by genre mostly how I want them um, so now I'm gonna go ahead and just try and see how much of them I can fit on these shelves so we'll start on this side of the shelves and what I usually do for this side is put any books that like I will tend to read or my husband won't. So like romance or fantasy romance or those kind of reads right here. Um, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because he's not too big of a reader. So I'll just put them how I want. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. Woo, all right. Hi friends. So it has officially been a couple hours later. Um, I had to take a break because it actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would. So the bad news is I wasn't able to fit everything on my shelves. So I put them in and then I had to redo it again. So that's why it took me so long and why I'm like freaking out of breath. Um, however, now I have a TBR cart, which is over here, and I'll show you guys. Um, and I also have more space. I'm going to show you guys what the final setup is, what everything looks like, and I'll show you guys my little TBR cart. I now have this shelf is just empty. Um, so I think what I'll do is just as I get more books, I have extra room now to put them on our shelves. So then what I did was made all of the shelves facing this side more of my adult fantasy and sci-fi section. So over here we have the David Bad trilogy books and then we have some V.E. Schwab, Robin Hobb, and Fonda Lee. Um, and then I also have my Brandon Sanderson section over here. All right, and then over here we have my little sushi. This is a California roll jelly cat. I mean, I had to over in California. So we have Dune and then the Red Rising series. So I don't have Lightbringer yet. I'm actually waiting until the paperback edition comes out, which I believe is gonna be later this year, I wanna say. But I also did order some hardcover editions of these. So I should be getting those in soon. And then we have The Will of the Many, Blood Over Bright Haven. I'm not quite sure, maybe double check that, but I heard that it got picked up by a traditional publisher, so these covers might not be available soon, so you might wanna pick one up. So that is what we have for this side. Okay, so on this side of the shelves, I decided to put all of my like YA series over here. So we have Harry Potter and then the Natural series. The Ark of a Scythe series, the Renegades series. Uh, I only have the first book though. And then we have the first two books in the Mortal Instruments series. So we have the City of Ashes and the City of Bones. And then I have the last two books in the Infernal Devices series. Um, and then we have some more hard covers over here. So we have A Tempest of Tea. This is actually a really cool 
edition. I was really excited. This actually recently came out and it has sprayed edges and it actually came signed as well. Um, so I'm really excited to read this one, but I'm a little nervous because I've heard conflicting reviews. So then these are the UK hardcover editions of the Divine Rivals series. So these are by Rebecca Ross. Um, so this has Iris and Roman on the cover and I love. And then I have the UK hardbacks of the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. So we have the Once Upon a Broken Heart and then a Ballad of Never After. And then A Curse for True Love, and these are written by Stephanie Garber. So I did read this trilogy, and I did like it. This is honestly probably more of a four-star series for me, because I wasn't so obsessed with it like a lot of people were, but I did really like it. It is very um, fantasy-esque and just really cute. So now we kind of get into my romanticy sections. So we have Akatar down here. Again, my first two books are being lent out. Um, the Cruel Prince Trilogy, The Red Queen, and then just some more romantic books right there. And then I did put my copy of uh, Legends and Lattes up there. That's also the UK cover. If you can't tell, I'm a, I'm a fan of the UK covers over the um, US ones. I was really happy about this. I was able to put my entire Throne of Glass series together, so that's nice and just tucked away. And then I put the two um, Crescent City books right here. And then over on the TV stand, I was able to fit all of my romance books up here, which is so satisfying. Um, and then I have my lit fic, historical fic, and nonfiction down here. So then here is my TBR cart. So I put all of the TBR books on the bottom and these are what I'll be choosing from for my TBRs. So since I still need to use this top shelf, um, I kind of made it like a hybrid TBR shelf. So I put all the books that I currently have on my April TBR up here, except for this copy of Red Rising. I'm annotating that book right now. So this is my little TBR jar. It's just a little like monster mug. And then in here, I keep this jar full of mini books, and these are all the books that I have read this year. Um, I have some highlighters, some uh, tabs, and just like stationary items. And then right here, I have my like mini book TBR jar. So I grab my little mini books that I read from here and then put them in there when I'm done. Um, then my glasses. This is my book embosser, so it does have my name on it. And then I just kind of like press my name into the books that I keep as part of my collection. And then these are where I keep my little bookmarks um, on this little mug right here. If you guys wanna take a peek, these are some of the books that I have down here. Um, and then I did put some more on the back side as well. So I'm gonna tuck that back in over here. And that is done. And then I'll also go ahead and introduce you guys to my little fur babies. So this is Simon. He already did make a make a introduction one time. He's paying attention to some birds outside because we have the palm trees right here. And then this guy right here is Tuco. And he is the older of the two by like six months. Um, they're both around four, no, no, I lied, sorry. They're around five years old and um, Tuki. Hi, baby. Good boy. And Tuco here was named after uh, one of my favorite TV shows, which was Breaking Bad. All right, you guys. So that was pretty much it for today's video. I am absolutely exhausted after that. Um, I feel like that consumed so much of my like brain power and everything. I feel very brain dead now. Anyways, I actually do have to go because we're going to go get some dinner with friends. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning into today's video. Give this video a thumbs up if you guys like it and if you guys want to see some more content like this in the future. Um, and then don't forget to subscribe if you guys want to follow along my reading journey as well. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Bye!